Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Evita Cooks and Preps. This is a friendly reminder that the cold and flu season is upon us, and it's time to begin making our home remedies, such as the fire cider. Um, I have a couple of them going, and this weekend I plan to start a new one because this is about the time where we begin taking some of these home remedies as a preventative, especially the fire cider. And I've already shared my recipe for the fire cider. I have a couple of elderberry syrups and antivirals going as well. Some colloidal silver that I use in a variety of recipes, such as the fire cider. And sometimes I add it to the garlic and ginger honey infusions that I have going. In addition to all of these home remedies, I have other little projects and fermentations going because this is the time where I make a lot of my ferments, the apple cider vinegar, and everything I think I'm gonna need throughout the winter. I'm also going to be making my herbal blend, and this is a mixture of a variety of spices such as ginger, turmeric, cloves, and a whole lot of other ingredients, very similar to the ingredients that I added to the fire cider, only this one I use for tea, and sometimes I turn them into capsules so that my kids and my husband can take them on the go. This way I know that they'll be taking the preventative medications even when I'm not around. Another excellent prep and find are these Ricola lozenges. Um, I picked these up because, like I said, this is the time of year when we should be prepping for the cold and flu season. This brand in particular happens to be my favorite because it is loaded with a lot of good medicinal plants and herbs that are good for your immune system, such as the peppermint, the elderberry. Uh, it has some whorehound, which is great uh, for sore throats. Um, it has some thyme, sage, linden flower, lemon balm, thyme, mallow. In other words, these lozenges are loaded with a lot of medicinal herbal plants that can help you through this cold season. What I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to be vacuum sealing the extras and vacuum seal the rest of the bags. And to do that, I'm going to be using my vacuum sealer. This is a Weston Pro 3500. Um, I will leave the information of the vacuum sealer in the description box. I'm not affiliated with them, but if you're looking for a good quality vacuum seal that's going to be doing multiple jobs, such as sealing, it also comes with the port for the wide and regular mouth sealer. This is the vacuum sealer for you. Best thing about this vacuum sealer is that it comes with a bar, I believe it's 15 inches long, and you can load multiple size bags or an extra large size bag. I think this one should be fine for the lozenges, but we'll find out in just a little bit. This is actually the last piece from the roll, so I'm hoping I can use it. If you would like to see a full tutorial or a review on this vacuum sealer, drop me a comment below the video and we'll put something together for you. And these bags are pretty heavy, but since I'm gonna vacuum seal them, I wanna remove most of the air from the bag. And you can do this two ways. You can cut a slit on the bag and let all the air out, or you can cut this piece and slightly open the bag to let the air out, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so, and, oh my goodness, these smell so good, and they're actually my favorite. There is a lot of other brands out there, but I remember the first time I tried the uh, Ricola brand, and I was in love. I actually think it is loaded with just about everything you can possibly need when you have a sore throat, and the best part is, is that they also have these available sugar-free, so if that's something that interests you, you can check it out. Okay, the other bag wasn't big enough, so I'm just gonna cut one of these extra large bags and measure it to make sure I don't shortchange myself because I definitely want these to be perfectly vacuum sealed. I think that's pretty good. With this vacuum sealer, you can cut the bags any size you want, and that's one of the things that I love about it. These are much bigger, and I know they're gonna work a lot better. So 
yes, I bought this vacuum sealer about five years ago and it's working great. I've had to do very low maintenance to it, like changing the sealing strip and other than that, uh, it works fantastic. And to be honest with you, the price was not bad at all. I believe I paid $549 for it. It's also a commercial grade and this is a limited edition. These bags are large enough that what I did is I have three of these bags that I'm vacuum sealing. So I took half of one bag and packed it into the same pouch to make good use of the bags and the space that we have available. You can take the lozenges out of a bag, but why would you do that, right? Why not use the original package? A, because you don't have to label it. You see exactly what's in it. And also because it's going to protect the lozenges when you vacuum seal them. So why remove the bag? And I have it set for six seconds of vacuum time and five seconds of sealing time. With this one, you have to wait for the release. And there you go. And just like that, we vacuum sealed uh, at least 200 of these recolorable lozenges. Depending on how active our cold and flu season this year, uh, this might last us through the whole winter. Now all we have to do is, even though I kept the original package, is date it with today's date so we know when we vacuum seal it. Other than that, it's ready for our pantry. The next two are not exactly cold and flu preps. And on my last visit to Costco, I got these at a very good deal. These are three pounds of organic chia seeds for $8.99. And I was lucky this time and found these macadamia nuts of one and a quarter pounds for $4.98, which is a bargain. So I decided to pick up some extra and I'm going to vacuum seal them, especially the nuts. If you're not gonna eat them right away, uh, you should vacuum seal them so that they can stay fresh long. I figure since I had the vacuum sealer out, it'd be perfect to take care of these little projects. And as you can see, if you keep an eye on these sales, you can pick up really good stuff at a bargain. But as preppers, it's very important that you're constantly checking so that you can take advantage of these bargains. Okay, I'm also gonna seal these at six and five. I use chia seeds in a lot of recipes. And as preppers, chia seeds are very versatile because they make the perfect substitute for eggs. today to do some vacuum sealing to do a little pass on the different preps that I have I also check on the status of my homemade remedies like the apple cider vinegar the elderberry syrup the colloidal silver and the herbal blend as well as the garlic and ginger infused honey which are all great home remedies to keep on hand for the cold and flu season you can use those home remedies as a preventative measure as well as to treat some of the symptoms from the cold and flu um, just do a little bit of research and as always i like to remind you that i'm not a doctor nor do i play one on tv be informed do your own research, but most importantly, speak to your doctor before giving these home remedies to your children or before taking them at home. This is just a very quick preview of what I've been doing in the kitchen. And also to remind you, like I said, that it's definitely time to start preparing your home remedies because a lot of these home remedies take several weeks before they're ready to take them. For more quick and easy reminders like this one, consider subscribing to the channel like, share, and comment for the YouTube algorithm, and activate the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos. Until next time, I'm Evita, Cooks and Preps. Be well and stay healthy, everyone. You really have to try it.